my curry tripe with beans. Voila! Hey, 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 hey. Good morning. Finally, 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 my cooking vlog today. Happy Sunday, you all. I slept in late, was a little bit tired this weekend. You know, went out, enjoyed myself, have a couple of drinks with friends. So, did go to church and I slept in late. You know, we have to live, laugh, and love. That's the tree word. So, good morning, you all. Good morning, my fans. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are blessed. Hope you are in good health, good spirit. And if not, just pray that you will be by this week. Good news coming this week. Who say they believe it, say they receive it. Okay, let's jump right into this. So, um, I'm going to do a, be doing my Jamaican way of cooking curry tripe. Alright, so, I'm going to put the tripe already in the base, in the dish. And me put some vinegar on it for soak already. Me just to show you the preparation product. You know, finished product. Maybe when it finish, we might do another video and show you guys. So curry tripe and my good old butter bean. Yeah, and that I'm gonna be the sauce today. Curry tripe. So let me jump into it and show you my seasoning. What me I gonna use when time already. All right. So you know sweet pepper. We them call it bell pepper in America. Onion. You name it. I'm going to use a lime and wash it too. Because sometimes, them look something and they have some slime on the skin of them. When you cut them up, because I cut it from the meat board, cut it up real fine in a way that, you know, it can taste good with baked bean, butter bean, butter bean. And anyway, you can chunk it. Try it nice on the chunk. And this is actually the book. Not the belly, not the, this is actually the broad part of the tribe. See? See? Because I don't eat the part, the long part. No, we look like a real human intestine. Me not eat it. All when them say if you clean it out, cause fat in between it, me not eat it. So, me buy this precisely. Then call this the book. Don't got Jamaica, them say this name the book. So, me buy that. Me look for that definitely. So, I'm going to add a little skeleton to mine. Because I like flavor my pot. I have my time. I put time in a freezer. Because it keep more when it's in the freezer. And it not shed. So, you know, garlic, good old garlic. I want a little green pepper for spice him up. Nevertheless... With all of what I show you, I have my cayenne pepper. Because me can't afford to cook my food without my cayenne pepper. Because this gives it a little flavor. And as I read, cayenne is very good for circulation. That's what I read. So, anybody have circulation problem? Them say you can put a little bit in the water with some of that thing. I don't know. Don't quote me. Because I am no doctor over here. I'm just telling you guys what I heard. <laughs> So, this now is my Jamaican hot curry. It not taste no way to me. It not taste different. But them say it name hot. So, me I tell you what they say it name hot. Alright, this is a sneeze seasoning where... If I give my people, me have list them. This is a season where me sit in at the store and me decide to make a try the season. Yeah? Me don't know if in 100%... But it's a complete seasoning. So it's a everything mix. So far it tastes good palm full. But if you know what you do, it will salt your pot kite very salt. So this is it. See? Spice Supreme. In them everything mix. You put it up near just in case anybody want to buy it, you know? And then the good old garlic powder, we all know. Yeah. Everybody know that. Because regardless of me using my pig garlic, I have to use garlic powder. I get used to using onion powder in my food too. Because it gives it a little, you know, a little job. So this is our onion powder. With this now, that's why I said the combination you have to know. Because this salt, everybody who knows adobo knows that this is a very salt seasoning. So because of the combination with the adobo and the everything, I use a little bit of adobo. Because it's a all purpose base seasoning. So because I don't know and this now having like herbs, little leafy spices of herbs, little fine grains of salt, look a fine grain of something look like seasoned salt. Them said having completely everything because it named everything seasoning, my people. 
So, just a little bit to add over. And last but not least, ginger powder. At first, me never used to use this in a food, but it tastes very good from pork. I have some pork ribs. I'm going to do that next week, Sunday. I have spare. I'm going to do a vlog for that too. So the pork ribs now, it, 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 it come like beef steak ribs. So I'm going to bake it. I'm going to cook it in a pot. It's going to the oven. And barbecue. Barbecue pork ribs. All being well. Hopefully, I'm going to change my mind. So this tastes very good on pork. Ginger. So instead of using our ground ginger like what we used to do in Jamaica, I go scrape and cut up. You know, if you kill up yourself again, people. Here comes the new and improved way. Ginger powder. You can't use too much because it will taste. To me, it overpowers everything where you put in other food. So if you know, if you know, know you have a minute, you know, marginalize. You know, we Jamaican already. We not major nothing. We not no spoon. We not no fork. We not have nothing a major. We just shake and tell your ancestors, say eh? stop. That's how we do it thing. So before my video run out, may I start cut up the meat. Then I clean up the skin underneath. You understand, guys? Yeah, and then I wash him with the lime. Because as I said, I put him in a vinegar already. And then I soak him. So, I go and cut him up. Scrape off the skin. This is the underneath part. Where they look white, white, them with They just scrape underneath it. Forget them off with their knife. And then you cut him up. Put him down on my meat board. Scrape again. Because all of them. All of the tribe, no matter which part you buy, have them look fat something here. And I don't eat fat. Not even chicken fat. I don't eat skin. So once I feel them something in my mouth, it's like I don't want the food anymore. So I get me try to scrape them off when I cook my meat or my tribe. So after me done scrape them and cut up the tribe now. And it's better when you scrape them whole. Because you see like when I have that whole piece of tribe there, I'm able to scrape off the inside more than when I cut it fine. So Better when I scrape it before I cut it. So inside right now, I just scrape it off. Scrape off the fat them. Yeah. Get a good knife. Sharp knife. Not one of you cut your hand. But get a good looking knife. See? Look at this. Fat that. So you scrape on your cut up. Now, any desired size. Anybody want them small? Anybody want them chunky? But as me say, try it better when it's small. Me don't know about nothing else. So, me while I scrape, I just put them on the meat bowl, cut and go along, yeah, go along as I scrape. Then when I'm done now, all I'm seasoning them when I'm showing up, I just throw it on and marinate and just start the cooking. I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker because it's late now, I tell you I'm just sleeping. Yeah, I feel like I'm tired, work five days straight. Come up on weekend and still go out, so I'm tired, so I'm sleep late. So everything I throw in a pressure cooker, and you know that I got done within about 20 30 minutes. All depends, because I try for something more, we take a little time for cook. And then after I'm done now, throwing my bean, make my bean cook down and my seasoning them. And we know you can't pressure out your seasoning them. So cut them as small as you can if you want. No matter the size where you want, it all depends on what you want. This is as small as me. We go. Me not gonna smaller than this. See? Me not gonna smaller. It don't make no sense. Cause when you put what, when you say one thing with meat, most meat, especially mutton. When you cook mutton, you know say it shrink when it go in a pot. Try not really itch and try to shrink too. So you don't need for gonna smaller. I not eat. I be baby. I eat it. A big people. Yeah, so that is what I basically say. My size, my, my size limit that. And then now, I have the rice. Normally, I got the pumpkin rice. I got the story yesterday, I never remember the pumpkin. So, guess what? I'm going to go rice. Come in on the rice, and peace. Guess what? I'm going to go in there, rice, my peeps. See? Cock soup. What is that? Chicken soup one. I learned this a long time ago. This gear rice has a little kick, a little flavor. When you use this in your white rice, you don't want nothing more than liquor butter. You never put no salt in it because it's salt, you know. You know, soup mix salt. So I just white rice with a little soup mix. And that's it. I'm a little butter. I'm steam on my rice. 
and voila we got dinner so this is my first cooking vlog i showed you my preparation if anything i come on back later and i'll show you my finished product so have a blessed one guys i'm gonna dive right into it now and finish up my tripe yep and it's cow tripe let me say it's cow tripe because sometimes people might want to know what kind of tripe and where it comes from it's cow intestine cow tripe okay so have a good one people we we'll talk again later for my finished product hi guys hi 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 guess what finished product let me see if i can hold the phone good for you guys to see my curry tripe yep 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 finished product so i'm done i'm about to eat in the next half an hour i like to work up an appetite because since i woke about what one o'clock yeah i had a late lunch because that wasn't breakfast that was lunch so i like to work up an appetite yes and since it's now after five going to six because the time change we are back to daylight saving time in america we are one hour ahead of jamaica yep gone right back to square one two or three where you want to call it so since the time change what me i gonna do me not really hungry sorry so me i try to drink as much bottle of water as me can because May I peel my skin with something, forget the black spots them off. So meanwhile, may I peel my outer surface of my skin with the acne, the hormone of acne is for them. May I have to drink enough water. So I drink about three back of my gun already, I know. Them said that not enough, but may I try. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to show you my finished product. As I said, I wasn't doing any rice and peas. I'm kind of tired of that. I can't take no more of that right now. So I did plain rice with the noodle inside of it. So let me see if the phone is all properly and show you the parts. Okay. So I don't know if I... Okay. Oops. Yeah. That's the correct way. Because I have to be bending over to see. So that's my, my rice with noodles. The noodles are so fine. You can't see them anymore. And I put a little piece of scallion. And... That's my finished product. Yeah. Rice. Yep. Finished product over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going right over to the main menu. My curry tripe with beans. Voila. Voila, voila, voila. Yeah. See? Nice. Okay, guys, and I don't know what's going to be for vegetable. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not a vegetable person, but I have to include something. I don't want no lettuce today, so I have some broccoli, and I think I'll be doing some broccoli. This is actually um the one that you steam in the bag, but I like it. Either bake in the oven, which I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put it on a little bit of water. Don't boil them. I don't like when they're soft and mushy. Just let the water boil over the broccoli. And then turn the stove off. Yep, that's it. And that would be my vegetable for today. Because I don't want no lettuce. I don't want no sweet corn. I have all of that. So basically... That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, forgive me for the noise. You know that's how kitchen runs. I'm turning on the pipe, catching my water. Just this amount. Yep. Put down the stove. Put about four, five pieces of broccoli inside the pot. Yep, 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 yep. And you know what I like to do too? When I put my broccoli... I like to put a little bit of garlic powder inside the water um, to give it a little flavor and a little tubs of salt. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the amount of broccoli I want. I'm good with that. So I like to use a little bit of garlic powder to give it a little flavor. Alrighty. So that's for today and you saw my finished product. Until next time, bye-bye. Let's on the track.